In our last lesson, we increased font size, added some styling, and added some color to our document. In this lesson, we will experiment with different line spacings to see if we can make our documents even more readable. Let's head over to Google Docs and launch our project document. Now before we get started, take a good look at this document. It doesn't look bad, but each line of text is pretty close together. We could add just a little bit more space in between those lines to make it a lot easier to read. Before we can change our line spacing, however, we need to select all of the text. I can do this by hitting Ctrl or Command A, or we can also go into the Edit menu and choose Select All. Now that all the text is highlighted, go up to the toolbar and click on the button with the vertical arrows beside some text. If that didn't make sense, it's this button right here. Now if you don't see this icon, it's likely you're using a smaller browser window and it's under the More button. In this case, yours would look like this. Alternatively, you can find line spacing under the Format menu right here. Notice how it says I'm currently using single spacing? Let's change this to double spacing just to see how it changes things. Huh, that made things a lot worse. Double spacing leaves way too much white space. Let's go back to the line, line spacing option, and try using 1.15. Now that looks better. I'm happy with how the line spacing looks now. It's not too squished together, and there isn't a ton of white space. In the words of Goldilocks, it's just right. So that's all there is to line spacing. But before we finish this tutorial, quickly click on the line spacing button again and take a look at the custom spacing option. In some cases, you might want to have more control over the space before or after a line of text or paragraph. This area lets you have full control over how much space each line takes up. Take a moment to play around with some of the different values and see what happens. Oh. And if you don't like what you tried or you really messed things up, you can always click the undo button to go back a step or two. That's right here. And that's how line spacing works in Google Docs. In the next lesson, we'll add some bullets and some numbered lists. See you there.